So once you lift up the floor mat here, there's a couple boards uh, that are basically covering the, uh, the transmission. So you can see all the pedals here uh, linking into the transmission. Uh, they call it a, a hogshead sometimes. But uh, there's this axis panel on the top. And when you pull off that panel, there's just six screws in there. You can see the bands, uh, the three bands for the, uh, for the low speed, uh, for the brake, and uh, then also for the reverse. So what those do is when you push those pedals, there's a circular band around each one of those drums and they pinch that band, pinches that drum and then activates either the low speed, the brake or reverse. So this one here, the middle one uh, would be for your low speed. And uh, this one over here is for your reverse. And then here is your brake band, which is connected directly to the drive. Um, and through the planetary gears, there's three planetary gears ahead of this. That's what would make this transmission go from uh, low speed to brake or to reverse is pushing on those pedals. And then what happens when you allow the low speed pedal to rise all the way up, it's a d direct drive at that point from the engine uh, through the transmission direct drive to the rear wheels, which gives you your high speed gear. So low speed pushing down on the low speed pedal activates the band that pinches the drum and only has you go in the low speed. So what I've done is ordered this, uh, there's no filter in there. There's no engine filter and there's no transmission filter. So this is an aftermarket filter, if you will, that uh, just has a screen. So it allows oil to splash up in through here. And there's a magnet to catch any uh, metal burrs that might come as part of just normal engine wear. And uh, this screen here will allow the oil to sink down through. And it also, those bands typically are, are cotton. They make um, uh, modern ones that are Kevlar. Uh, those bands wear. And as you use them, as they push along those drums, pieces of it come off and uh, creates like a fluff in your oil. So this screen will actually catch that as well. So we're just adding this uh, to kind of make, uh, it's a secondary aftermarket product to make basically a filter because the engine oil uh, is shared by uh, the transmission as well. So it's one oil to uh, all the systems. So there you go. So we had a problem uh, yesterday with the low speed band not engaging all the way and we had to take this pan back out. So I've got this, the magnet here and you can actually see just from uh, that day of driving all that, there's just a bunch of uh, metal for you on that magnet. So. Uh, and you can see in the pan itself, just some of the sludge that's in there. But what we're gonna do now is compare this video uh, that we did yesterday, because the low speed, what was happening is it was engaging, uh, we had to have the pedal, the low speed, all the way to the floor, and uh, it would not only stick, but uh, we had to go all the way to the floor to get it to engage. So we're gonna compare this video uh, that we did yesterday with today, but it looks like we need to tighten the low speed band a little bit uh, using this adjustment here because uh, you can see all the other ones are nice and tight and uh, we weren't getting that spring action when you let off, let off the pedal and that looks like it's because the band itself is a little bit too loose. So that's what we're going to do. So what we did is made a few adjustments. Uh, we used our uh, authentic Ford tools here and, and we backed off this one bolt here which allows you to uh, make your actual adjustments. So once this is backed off you can either tighten or loosen this. So as you tighten this, it'll actually uh, cause the bands to constrict together. So what we did is we made just a little bit of adjustment. So the pedal, uh, when you push down, it still um, constricts the band. But what we want to make sure is that we didn't do it too tight so that it's through the tightening, uh, it actually causes the band to constrict and get forward creep. So we're going to put it back together. And uh, then what we'll do is we'll start the car and uh, see if we get any forward creep uh, or if there's not enough pedal action to actually engage the band, uh, which will mean we'll have to tighten it some more, but we can do that uh, through these external adjustments so we don't actually have to have the plate off. So we're gonna clean off the magnet and put that all back so together. So the car's all back together now and uh, just to kind of go over what we did, tightened up those bands and right now that pedal, the clutch pedal is in the, uh, the neutral position. If I push it all the way down, that's engaging, pinching that band for the low speed. And then uh, in order to make it go up to the high speed, you'd have to release your foot, but this uh, parking brake lever has to also go all the way forward and then it pops up. 
So if I hold my foot here, this is actually neutral. All the way down would be low speed, pinching that band. And then after uh, raising your foot with the lever down here, that'll bring it to the high speed. So middle one's reverse. And then the one on your far right is your brake. So we'll go ahead and put the car in neutral by putting this parking brake up. It drives it to the neutral position. To start the car, uh, you can hold down on the brake if you want here. So I'll turn the battery on. And then there's actually a, a starter button on this one right here. So you just push down on the starter. So pressing down up on the, the throttles right here. So I'm upping on the throttle at the same time as I push down on that pedal engages the low speed. So that's the low speed right there. Now that's neutral. I can push on this one and pinch that drum on the brake. And then here's the reverse, which kind of has a weird angle on it. You almost have to tip your foot sideways to get that to work. That's reverse. So here we go, we'll do low speed again. That's it.